Welcome back to Handy Headquarters. My sister, who lives in Cape Town in South Africa, has been a biology teacher most of her life and currently works for the ANSWER series, which is a study guides for high school kids. And uh, she was asked recently to, do, to say something inspirational about herself. And she put together what you're about to hear. And she read it to me over the phone. And I thought it was so good. I thought I've got to share it. And uh, so here you have it. Please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And uh, enjoy. It's all about the D's today. When asked what makes me special or unique, I couldn't think of anything really. I'm one of many children, one of a wonderful family at the Answer Series, one of millions of South Africans, one of billions of humans. Nothing much jumps out, average. Nobody really says, oh look, there she goes with flashbulbs of paparazzi. But quite a number of years ago, there was a little spark, hidden and silent. A tiny flash of light that marked the beginning of me. Ta-da! That moment when all the coded instructions from my parents combined as an instruction manual to make a new, unique, first ever, never seen before me. Yep, just me. I had no clue. I didn't observe. Nobody there to direct operations. Nobody there to feed the crew. Nobody there to manage the process and fix mistakes. Imagine the chaos inside the newly formed me. Me as a cell, all the members of the coding team. No, no, you are number 19. You must go with your partner, number 19. Hey, you, you are number 11. Line up there over next to number 11. Okay, everybody line up with your partners in the middle. This way, that, no, okay, split. Go north, go south, divide, move, hurry. We need more energy over here. Thank you. Move. We only got a certain amount of time. Move, divide. Bye. The first cell of me eventually organized itself to divide into two cells, then into four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, hundred and twenty-eight, two hundred and fifty-six, eventually to approximately twenty-eight trillion. Men have more, thirty-six trillion or more. In every cell of the total twenty-eight trillion, there are little coding bodies that keep the recipe, the instructions, with three billion pairs of coding letters. That's six billion coding letters all wrapped up into two meters of thread. Two meters in every cell, and they are trillions of cells. My coding, my DNA, just me. My DNA from all my cells would stretch from here to the moon and back 600 times. Using four coding letters, GCAT, unlike computer programming that just uses two digits, Letters that are read in words and used as instructions to make every bit of our bodies from the moment of conception to our closing moments. It divides, makes copies of itself, manages the process. Imagine the printing room going ape, doing their own thing without any instructions. It fixes itself, passes on its code to the next generation. One human code takes up 600,000 printed A4 pages. That is 600,000 pages all about me. How I walk, how I talk, what I look like on the inside, what I look like on the outside. An amazing information system, IT on steroids. DNA is the ultimate digital data storage system. One gram of DNA can store over a million gigabyte of data. It's more dense, more durable, deceptively compact, incredibly dependable. Doesn't decompose, it can last for decades, well, thousands of years, actually millions of years. Dedicated designer DNA, custom built just for me and you. This magical molecule is not a distant dear Makar reminder of how unique I am. It's right here, every building block of me, all the detail. It's the most wonderful evidence that yells out really loudly of a divine designer who cares enough to make such a distinct system that makes me me. He thinks I'm unique. He proves it in writing, a story of words, letters, billions of letters of coding just for me. He thinks I'm special and that's enough for me. P.S. The best part of this rather random story it's the same story for you.